AM, 770-KTTH. Uh, like we uh, started the show at 6 a.m., uh, a Franklin High School uh, teacher, a 32-year-old male, um, has been arrested for having different, different sessions of sex with a 16-year-old student, which is extremely illegal on a whole bunch of levels. And uh, the 32-year-old teacher was arrested on February 17th. After the 16-year-old came forward, alleging they had a sexual relationship, uh, the student told investigators that their intimate relationship began on February 2nd. Um, so <clears throat> here, here's between February 2nd and now, uh, 3,000 text message exchanges between the two of them. Though, though I'm, I'm wild stab. It was weeks and weeks and weeks or, or months of, of grooming. Uh, or something between the two of them. The teacher was arrested for investigation of sexual misconduct with a minor and communicating with a minor for immoral purposes. Uh, and the the bail was set at only a hundred thousand uh, dollars. According to the staff director, the suspect taught science at the school. Uh, they removed his photo from the uh, directory, and so uh, the, the uh, parents got a letter last week. As I, I I'd imagine, I guess ne having never faced this situation of um, my my kid being uh, having someone on the faculty uh, accused of such a thing. Uh, quote: Last week we received a report that a Franklin employee employee uh, engaged in inappropriate contact with a student. Our school and the district officials quickly moved to address the situation. As soon as the report was received, the district uh, has placed the employee on leave. They have uh, they have been restricted from having contact with students, families, and staff. They've been restricted from entering any Seattle Public School school buildings or attending school-related events, uh, initiating a full internal investigation. And I'm I'm assuming that that, that means you're you know how, no idea about his uh, length of service at Seattle Public Schools, but I'm going to take a, a wild stab and say it, maybe not his first year, but who knows? They need they need teachers. But um, <clears throat> like like we we're saying in the first hour, this is to me this is a one and done. Uh, what, however, the criminal charges are adjudicated. You know, I, I'm assuming obviously, state of Washington pulls the certificate, and I, I don't know if the union is like a police union. You know, this is all, of course, based on, uh, you know, if, if in fact the person is found guilty, they are, of course, uh, presumed innocent. But <clears throat> if found guilty, do can teachers bounce around from state to state? Uh, and, or, you know, because, you know, that's a thing among some states and some police unions. You leave your, your uh, you know, illegal use of force behind uh, when you voluntarily resign from a, you know, department. But that's different than, uh, than being charged. But uh, so anyway, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll continue chasing that story down.